My name is Nikki Rutz, and I am a parent at Covenant Christian School and a school board member. Suddenly we found ourselves having a little boy, and we were living in a house on a cliff, which is not a good idea when you have a little boy. So we thought, let's start praying about what school do we want him to be in. And we started researching, and we sat down with a teacher there who um, sees the kids as they come in at seventh grade. And I remember he said to us, you know, I can hand pick out the students that are graduating out of Covenant Christian School because of the way they serve the other students, their heart, and their gospel understanding. And for my husband and I, we were like, done deal, this is where we need to be. A, we're looking to have our, our students in some way be Renaissance people. People who see that the way that they approach art is going to filter into how they see the world, is going to change how they take care of their neighborhoods and their sidewalks and their own yard and how they're going to love their neighbor well. And that these lines are not uh, harsh barriers between two unrelated components, but they actually are that full orbed, again, integral component of the knowledge of the world that the Lord has made. My name is John Roberts, and I'm the head of school at Covenant Christian School in St. Louis. We're one of the founding schools in the Redemptive Ed network of schools. More and more children, their time is structured. And even when they're outdoors, their, their time is been laid out for them. They will be doing X and Y and Z. And what we seek to do with our outdoor space is to allow students to really use their time outdoors in whatever way they want to. The relational element has always been pretty strong here at Covenant, which is something that I think is a huge key to Covenant. I think it is vital that teachers teach and interact with children like they're human beings because they are human beings. I think it's very tempting to think of children as just these objects that we have to dump information into. And I have found that that doesn't work if they don't know that the teacher loves them. 